Hi everyone, welcome to Border Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie and this is the Tier 8 German Tank Destroyer, the Rheimatol Borsig, the RHM. Rheimatol Borsig Waffentrager, I think it's called. It leads to the Grill. One of the newer tanks in the game, the Grill 15 at Tier 10. This is a Tier 8 battle and shipwrecked twice from RNG Clan. He's platooned up with his old mate, Prince of Chaos, in his T32. They're lucky enough to... Lucky enough to be top tier in this battle on Fisherman's Bay and as usual on the Asian server a little bit of complaining and Centurion 1 the Cyclonic Dead from Kelly Clan Centurion 1 well done on giving up early but I think you're gonna get a little bit of surprise when it comes to this game he's top tier so he probably shouldn't be complaining about anything he's complaining about too many heavy tanks I think if we look at the minimap in this battle, it's a bit of a slow start without giving too much away. It's a bit of a slow start. A good proportion of the tanks on Shipwreck Twice's side has gone down the 1-2 line or, or set up on the 1-2 line, getting ready to camp. Only the Prince of Chaos and the Tier 709, the Japanese heavy tank, have gone east along with artillery. The Type 64, the artillery's rightly so, moving back thinking oh, this, I'm not going to last long out here if the enemy pushed this side and now, but the enemy tanks, including an IS-6 platoon and a WZ-111 who's also part of that platoon are pushing the one line fast and they're doing well, they've already gotten rid of two tanks two T-7 tanks, a medium tank and a tank to destroy it and at this stage, when I was first watching this replay, I thought this is not going to be a good video, there's not much happening here, they're getting slaughtered but, when you look at it, there's still plenty of guns left in the game. And it's still, it's only, they're only down by two tanks. And that's what you've got to think when you, you know, how often do you find yourself in a situation like this where you're in a game, you're down by two tanks, and people start giving up and, and abusing people in the chat. You've got to think, hey, we're only down by two tanks. If we do the same thing as they did, we'll be, we'll be back to zero, back to square pretty quickly. Now, Shipwreck twice has a look at that WZ-131 T7 Chinese medium tank and says, thank you very much. I'll take you down to half health or less than half health with one shot in my beautiful 120mm gun. Now, it could be, could be criticised for sniping at the back, but let's be honest, the RHM doesn't have the hit points, doesn't have the armour, doesn't have the, the mobility to be, to be right up the front. So, Shipwreck twice is doing exactly the right thing. As is the Prince of Chaos. He hasn't gone too far forward. I think the Type 64 has. But the Type 64 is doing a great job lining up that KV-5 on the other side of the map. But if the Prince of Chaos went too far forward, he could easily get outflanked and taken out by the enemy heavy tanks. Now, this is where Shipwreck Twice's gun is going to really come into the game. That IS-6 platoon obviously know what they're doing. They've picked up four kills between them. Not just the IS-6s, but the WZ-111 as well. They've picked up four kills between them. And that's the difference between whose side is winning. So Shipwreck twice is having a look at him. He's, and he's going to start putting some damage into those heavy tanks which are dominating this one line of the map. Artillery puts a shot into the WZ-111 which is exactly what he should be doing. And the Prince of Chaos on the other side of the map is just going to keep that KV-5 honest. There's also an IS-3 there. As Shipwreck twice picks up his first kill taking out a top tier IS-6 taking him out of the game. Now he's looking back at his mate because they're obviously talking on TeamSpeak or whatever voice communication software they use. The team is really getting taken apart here. Three to eight. That push, even though I think out of the out of the fifteen tanks, more than ten of the tanks on Shipwreck twice side started off down here and they just copped it from the enemy side. I don't know what those heavy tanks were doing, but they obviously weren't using their armour. Now, artillery takes out the second IS-6 in that platoon. And that platoon, which obviously was such a big part of that 1-2-1 push, are now out of the game. Chipwreck Twice's side is back up. Back, uh, clawed it back to 5-9. Not so long ago, they were down by about five tanks. Now, the KV-5 is obviously giving the Prince of Chaos a little bit of grief. So, Shipwreck Twice is helping from, helping from back here. He can't really move there because Artillery is already paying him some attention. He hasn't got a shot on that KV-5. So, actually, Prince of Chaos killed the KV-5. So, Shipwreck Twice takes the opportunity to put a shell into the VK-3002. The German T-6 medium tank. 
who's also got a kill of his own. Now he's going to search for a shot on that T-150. The T-150, not a really dangerous tank in this game, but it's still a tank you've got to take out. And it's just going to be easy money for Shipwreck twice. Now it looked like the looked like the artillery put a shell right into the building that Shipwreck twice is using as cover. As he keeps an eye on that IS-3, he's got to look after his mates as part of platooning, you've got to look after your mates. So he wants to make sure that the Prince of Chaos doesn't get in too much trouble and the O-9 takes him out after the Prince of Chaos offered him right up. He sees a T-150 and thinks that's alright, I'll take that for my third kill. Thank you very much. Now at this stage of the game, not a great deal of vision. The tier 8 medium tank um, is probably the probably the tank in the game with the most vision apart from the Prince of Chaos and his T-32 but he gets taken out by the enemy Hellcat but the Hellcat doesn't remain unspotted now even though the Hellcat's on full health that's only 570 hit points so Shipwreck twice is moving his aim circle around trying to find some of that red outline to try and shoot the Hellcat now at this stage they're, they're only down by a tank now you see Shipwreck twice has picked up nearly 4,000 hit points of damage the only tank that's been spotted on the 1 2 line now is the Hellcat. Now, the Hellcat is pretty good at T6. The Hellcat's no match for the Rhymatol Borsig, especially with the Borsigs on full health. Now, Shipwreck twice has been spotted. He knows he's been spotted, but the only tank that can spot him is the Hellcat. And maybe the IS. The IS hasn't been spotted this game. The IS 2 is on the other side of the map with the Prince of Chaos. Unless it's that VK3002 who was last spotted in the middle of the map. But there's the Hellcat. Slowly creeping up this hill. He's also spotted the VK, who was in a terribly unlucky position, that VK3002. He just happened to be exactly where Shipwreck's gun was already fully aimed when he when he came over that little ridge. Puts a shell into the Hellcat, but takes the damage to his ammo rack at the same time, and the ONE confirms the kill on the Hellcat. And all of a sudden, after being down by what? four or five tanks I think it was all of a sudden shipwrecked and the Prince of Chaos's team are winning 12 to 10 so it's a five versus three situation at the moment they need to get rid of the IS the tier 7 Russian heavy tank now the IS it might only be a tier 7 but the Russian heavy tank does have a pretty punchy gun from memory around about 400 alpha damage so shipwrecked twice has found himself a little bit of um, Camouflage. It looks like the AMX 13 F3 was doing a little bit of counter arty there and gets rid of the S51, which is another artillery that I don't have, but it's a pretty dangerous one. The O now takes out the M44, and now it's just a case of looking for where that IS is. He hasn't been spotted this entire game, and that's why the AMX 13 F3 is asking if he's AFK. And in the end, he drowns himself. Hero 99 2015. Well done. You are a knucklehead for drowning yourself at the end of the game when you've got a gun that can do 400 hit points of damage and you don't even try to use it. Looking at the post game battle results, unlucky not to pick up an ace tanker, in my opinion, shipwrecked wise. Maybe because he was top tier, maybe because most of, a lot of the damage that he did wasn't spotted by himself, it was spotted by someone else, but he got a high caliber as well as a tank sniper medal and he damaged a hell of a lot of the enemy team. It was looking pretty dicey for a while that battle, but shipwrecked twice with the help of Prince of Chaos and his trusty old T32, absolutely carried that game to the end. Four and a half thousand, nearly 4.600, nearly 4,600 damage and four kills for shipwrecked twice, 1,153 base experience. He fired 14 shots, only missed one. And 12 of them did damage. And that's what gave him at 4,500 hit points of damage. Unusual. Even though he was sniping a little bit, only 1,500 of the 4,500 was done by more than 300 metres. So it tells me that, you know, those shots that he did when they were, the enemy were really pushing that 1-2 line, that really made a difference to the battle result. L a lot of passengers, a lot of zeros. It always makes me shake my head when I see so many zeros. One or two you can understand. Now that IS, Hero 999 2015, not to be confused, confused with the hero who's in my clan, it's definitely not him. Um, he didn't fire a shot, and he didn't fire a shot, what can you say? 
He didn't fire a shot. And it tells me, and he wasn't swatted for the whole game. Absolute knucklehead. Hero, 999-2015. I, um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. All he did was drown. Anyway, bottom line, made 24, nearly 25,000 credits in that battle. We already went through how many shots he did. Plenty of damage. An awesome game. Only eight minutes, and it was looking pretty dicey for a while. Shipwrecked twice. That was looking very dicey indeed towards the start of the game when those when that platoon pushed the 1-2 line. But with a little bit of teamwork and some massive good focus firing, I think, uh, the, the Shipwreck's team absolutely won in the end. Thanks for watching, everyone. That was an awesome game. And if you see that idiot from the IS... Tell him up yours from me. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you all next time.